When it comes down to energy system training and how important it means to you, the user, um, we need to understand it as basically just conditioning. So think of it as sweat work. So that when I see people do lunges and burpees and skipping and something in five, seven minutes of work, I look at that as being energy system work. Some people may call it a test, some people may call it a workout. I see it as the body working to coordinate a bunch of different variables by increasing the heart rate, moving blood, increasing respiration to get work done. So what was once just broken into basically three different perspectives of what's considered use and energy, of doing something explosive in nature that's a short period of time, or something that's sustainable in nature over a long period of time, this middle ground area called power or sustained power or explosive power, um, and for the work that's done in that middle ground, it was never really truly understood. In terms of even for sport performance, people trying to get really good at events that last here, there's multiple different theories, and you guess where they sit. They either sit on this end going this way, or this end going this way, or directly at it all the time. And the reason why there's no one answer to that, it goes back to our assessment that everyone's essence and makeup is completely different. The intensity of that training is what we call energy system work. So if I said there was a seven minute piece that I wanted you to do, and I wanted you to fit as much work as possible in that seven minutes. For some, it may be just understanding jumping jacks. Jumping jacks as fast as possible for seven minutes. For others, it may be I want to row as hard as I can for seven minutes. So we have this seven minute piece, okay? And if, we, if I said do as much as you can in that seven minutes, let's call it a test. And that's 100% within that test. So if I wanted to train you to get better at that, I wouldn't ask you to do seven minutes hard all the time. That makes sense, right? I'd ask you to go at a lower percentage of that seven minutes of work. So how about I get you to do this? Three minutes of work, and let's call it 80% effort relative to what you do in your test. I make you take three minutes to 12 minutes of rest in between, rest, work, and then I get you to do it two to three times. That's called energy system training. This is called energy system testing. Energy system training allows us to do some work in a graph setting. The testing looks like this. Energy system training looks like this. Like that. So it builds up the amount of work that we can do for this time frame and not always going 100%. So that when it comes time to go back and assess the seven minutes, for someone who just needs to do a step test for five minutes, or for someone who needs to do a row test for five minutes, they get better at that time because they've improved the amount of work they've done within that. There's basically ways of training that too. Doing sustainable energy system training, high power middle end energy system training, or explosive front end energy system training. And that could be in time frames like this, just to give you some indication. Something that lasts 20 to 30 seconds, where it's not going to be using a, a huge amount of blood volume or blood, what's called blood lactate or lactate as a fuel source. Stuff in the middle ground that's going to be anywhere from, let's say, two minutes to eight minutes. And then think sustainable like 30 plus minutes, just so you can get this concept that, okay, it's beyond just a few minutes. So you can see that if I was to tell you to go hard at each one of these, you're obviously going to be at a different pace. And if I wanted to do training for you to get better at each of these, there's specific training of sustainable work, power work, and explosive work that we can do to improve your overall conditioning. Now the thing that's gone wrong in terms of people using this for health and fitness is that they've been doing so much testing of the energy system as opposed to training it. Because if we train it, it can be fun. Where people can do explosive work that's safe, for that person who can only do step ups, but they can do an air dine for 20 to 30 seconds. Is it a maximal output for them? No. We want them at a percentage that's below maximal output because we want them to improve that explosive nature. It's safe. Is it something they're going to need to do ever in terms of function and get on an air dine and spin hard? No. But they can do some touches on it to improve their overall health and fitness because all these pieces are intercorrelated. So this energy system training idea and concept and people training it more than testing, I think is a vital piece that you should investigate in your own training program because it could be the missing link.